Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. I am back on my matcha kick. Today we have a passion fruit matcha and it is delicious. Oh, I'm gonna put her down because we got some work to do today. We gotta react. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch some people attempt to do a butterfly cut on their own head. And you know what happens when people try to do that. It either goes really right or really terribly wrong. Usually the latter. And I've been told we have a lot of dramatic ones for you today. So let's check them out. <gasps> I have been getting this itch to cut my own hair. I sometimes am not always happy when I get my hair cut at a salon because I want it in a particular way. I like the back being very tapered. I like a good amount of layers, curtain bangs in the front, lots of long layers, and still keep some of the length in the back, but maybe not quite as long as it is right now. I want to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail and have like cute little things in the front. Okay, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure you're gonna get all those things from a butterfly cut. That's a very specific cut. You want the V in the back, which is a certain type of cut. And then you want long layers, which is definitely not the butterfly cut. That's more short layers for the butterfly cut. Um, so I'm a little scared. And you want curtain bangs, which is generally not really a part of a butterfly cut unless you cut it too short. In general, the butterfly cut does not seem like the cut you want. However, sometimes people describe their cuts differently than they actually do want it. Like during a consultation process with a Hairdresser, we think you say one thing, and then you are trying to say something totally different. So I'm hoping that's the case today, but we'll see. She might be making the biggest mistake ever, but what else is new? I thought I would do a little cutting my hair with you, and maybe if you feel so inclined, you can follow along and cut your own hair into long layers. I wish I could, but my hair is a little too short for that. I guess I kind of have long layers, my version of long layers. Do you like my hair color, by the way? I can't decide what I should do with my hair. I always want to be blonder, but I like having brown hair, but I don't know. Sometimes I just want to look a little like, instead of like, eh. So the first step that I did before I started is I actually straightened my hair. My hair is naturally a little bit wavy. Great to hear, love that. Love that you straightened it. We definitely either wanna cut the hair out very wet, very, very wet, like drippy wet, or we want to straighten the hair before we cut it. That is to ensure that the cut ends up straight and even. So I'm going to separate my hair into a front section. I'm gonna start with the apex of my head and I'm just going to make a line that goes down on either side to behind my ears. Basically, we are making a unicorn horn. You make sure it's all combed really flat and smooth and that it's pretty much even on both sides going back. I am not sure that was the apex of her head. She did say that that is the apex or the highest point of her head, but it doesn't look like it to me. Usually it's right here, much, much farther back. She's taking a very small, kind of more of like a bang section. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It's not really a bang section, but you get what I mean. It's a bang section, but that extended larger where we went wrong a little bit. It's not gonna look bad. This is not gonna be the worst thing ever, but we definitely took a little less hair than we should have. We should have brought it farther back next time. And I'm just gonna tie that at the front of my forehead. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, one other thing. We wanna bring the hair tie to the center of the eyebrows and that is the proper place of cutting it. So that way you end up with no really short bangs. Cause if you cut all the way up here, you're gonna end up with little tiny little bangs and it's not gonna look right. It's gonna be really scary. She's kind of going there and I'm worried. The back sections, I'm just gonna slice my hair in half. I'm gonna do a ponytail on each side. This is really a statement. Well, this is different. I don't know what's going on. We are not over directing this hair, which worries me because layering is all about over direction and cutting at an angle, you know, lifting the hair out from the spot it lives in. That is how you get layering. So when we're not doing that, you're not gonna get layering. So I don't know, I don't know. Now I got these three sections. We're just gonna focus on this front part for right now. We're gonna decide about how long we want the very front shortest part of the layers to be. What's going on with her current haircut? Because why is there two pieces? <laughs> two large strands of hair that are very long, like much longer than the rest of the hair. I'm glad we're fixing this today because <laughs> something's wrong. I think they were about here to start with and I want it at least like an inch or so shorter. I'm gonna be cutting right to here. The other thing that I would do, I... The other thing that I would do is cut the hair with with the hair out, not down, okay? Because we're doing over direction up and then we're over directing it back down. We don't need to do all that. We just need to over direct it in one direction, not two. So, and then cut up here. All right, don't pull it down in front of your face. 
Oh my god. <laughs> she just cut off so much. That's probably gonna give her some bangs. Yeah, I mean, she wanted some bangs, so bang away. You know? So these little edges, we don't want it to be super blunt cut, so I'm going to point cut. Aim the scissors up perpendicular toward the hair. You know, people love to do a little point cut, and that's fine, you can totally do that. However, you're over directing so far from where the hair lives naturally that you are naturally going to get a very diffused layered look even without point cutting. Also, when people point cut, they tend to point directly into the hair and kind of just take off like one strand at a time. And you gotta angle those scissors a little bit in one direction so that you take out some of that bulk. Snip along the edges to make it a little less blunt. Grr. I'm sorry, but that ain't that wasn't doing anything. You were taking out one strand at a time. That wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> you can divide it into sections if you have really thick hair like me. Okay, I feel like that's looking a lot better. So that's it for the front section. I'm going to take one side down and divide it into a front half and a back half. I'm gonna tie away the back half. Whoa! Okay, then. we are doing a whole lot back there. What's going on? And then I'm going to let this down. Oh, looking all right. We got some layers. I would say we do. And we got some shorter hair. <laughs> Where did all your hair go? <laughs> Whoa. So now the longest bit here, I'm gonna take my comb. I'm gonna brush this up at a diagonal. And there should be a point at which the front half and the back half meet. I can see my hair ending right here. Oh, this is a creative way of doing this. I like this. This is interesting. So I'm going to the end of where that hair meets, and I'm going to go one inch further. <laughs> and then I'm going to do that same thing again, where I point cut the ends to make it less blunt and blend in better. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is kind of a cool, innovative way of doing this. And I do think she'll get a little more connection between the front layering and the back layering this way. So this is nice. If there's any unevenness between the two, I can kind of even that out. Next, I'm letting out that last chunk of hair and we're going to repeat that same process. Take a little bit of that previous layered area. We're gonna brush this diagonally upward and we're gonna find where that hair ended, which I believe looks to be right here. And then I'm gonna go one inch further. Oh, that's a whole lot of hair she's about to cut. That's like five inches. Oh, yeah. I love when people cut a lot of hair off. Okay, let's see how it's all coming together. That. With this technique, you're definitely getting a lot less layering than you would have if you overdirected all the hair up and chopped off a lot. You're getting more diffuse layering this way. Okay, I feel like I could still do a little finessing. This is giving you more of like a shag type of look, which I enjoy, but way less layered. I love how she's so not even nervous about this. Like she's just chopping that hair off strand by strand, like lengths of hair. I'm like, please. Give me that hair. It's so pretty. I'm also like shocked that she knows how to do this so well. Like it's, it looks like it just comes very naturally to her. This is not exactly an easy process. Like it look, she's making it look very easy, but doing this to your own hair without being a hairstylist is a bit difficult. So I'm impressed. Moment of truth. Let's see how it looks in the back. Okay, the back is interesting. You know, we're getting that layering in the front and all that goodness, but then the back is very just one length. From what I can see, it's a little hard to see in the computer right now, but it is kind of more one length-ish. And um, I would have liked a bit more layering in there. Is it just me? Hopefully she styles it. And then these front pieces. I can tuck it behind my ears. I think I'm still gonna do a little bit of like thinning out with my thinning shears. Oh man, I love it so much. All right, so I thinned it out a little bit at the edges just because my hair is super, super thick. Okay, we're doing some thinning shears. Thinning shears are awesome because they are foolproof, sort of. Okay, actually don't, don't. Let me not say that. <laughs> um, they are not foolproof. They are just much easier than scissors that just cut it all off at once. If you've never seen thinning shears, this is what they look like up close. They have little teeth missing so that when you cut it, it just gets rid of some of the bulk in the hair. But when you use thinning shears, it's often best practice to over direct the hair out of the place it lives in or else you'll get little kind of like teeth marks in the hair. Like you'll see where you did the thinning shears. So if you over direct it, it really just adds more of like texturized layering internally in the hair, which is nice. It's a little 
great little touch and pretty easy to use those scissors. This is the final. All the layers are cut. Feels so much lighter. Obviously, this is what it looks like pinned straight, so I wanted to just show you what it looks like with styling it. I just did the fastest little like two minute blowout. I think I love this. So I just added a few loose curls just to give it a little body and so you can see what it looks like fully styled. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. It feels a million pounds lighter. And if I wanna put my hair in a ponytail, how cute is that? I still have my length in the back. For me, this is the perfect haircut. Oh, the ponytail. The ponytail got me. That is cute as hell. That looks awesome. With the curls, off, oh, with the styling, with the blowout, everything just really came together and looks spectacular. Great job in a very creative way of doing a sort of butterfly cut. I loved it. I finally caved. I gave myself the DIY butterfly cut, which was popularized by Brad Mondo. This technique makes over direction and cutting layers into your hair so much more simple. That's very nice of you to say. Was it popularized by me? I don't know, but I, your hair is so thick. It is so damn thick. Oh my God, this is gonna look so good. Oh. You just do one ponytail right in front of your forehead like a unicorn horn and one that sits right on top of your head with the rest of your hair. But nobody ever puts it in the right place. It goes here. Not here. Here, in front of the eyebrows. I used eye drops to measure the amount that I'm going to cut because you have to cut the same amount in the front ponytail and the back ponytail. I love that. Use some eye drops because why would we use our fingers as a measurement tool? That'd be too easy, right? You know, like three fingers, four fingers, two fingers. Eye droppers, easier. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Watching this back, I actually realized that I cut way more off the back ponytail than I did the front. Ooh. Yeah, you did. You really did. You cut a lot off. <laughs> you really did. You cut a lot off. Measure correctly. Because I didn't measure correctly, I actually noticed that some of my layers were a little bit more choppy, so I had to go in and fix it. I also wanted to blend the front half of my hair into the back half of my hair. Usually when I cut layers into my hair, it takes like over an hour, but this took like 15 minutes or less. I'm checking all of my layers to make sure that they're even on both sides, and this is what it looks like when it's completely styled. I currently have pretty textbook mid-length hair, but I like how now with the shorter layers, it looks like an actual hairstyle rather than short hair that's grown out to mid-length hair. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my eyes are watering. That was the most beautiful. <laughs> that was the most beautiful hair I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, wow, wow. I mean, I've been very emotional lately, but I mean, this, this is making, woof. <laughs> that was so pretty. <laughs> Wow, that end result was one of the one of the most gorgeous heads of hair I've ever seen in my life. The fact that she just like gave herself the, the most perfect blowout slash whatever she did there. Ugh. I feel like I just wasn't expecting all that. <gasps> wow, that is hair. And that is a well done DIY haircut if I have ever seen one. Oh my God, your hair color, your hair cut, the way it frames your face, everything is just flawless. Great job, wow. Is anybody else just shocked at those results? That was crazy. I'm gonna be doing the butterfly haircut because I have done it once and I did not like how it, ha it, it was, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay, here we go. This is how long my hair is. Oh my God, that is some long, hair. Wow, she better cut some layers in there. I mean, better cut some length, you know, cause that is, it's a blanket right now. I'm not like the biggest fan of like blanket hair, but I also like go off cause I get it. Like I get why you'd want a bunch of length. It's kind of fun. Makes you feel fun and flirty and cute, but like, oh, that shit is long. Now we're gonna cut it. This is the first piece. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Another person not cutting the hair in the right spot in the front, okay? It's between your eyebrows, not between your forehead wrinkles. <laughs> not that you have any, because you're like 15, but... You know what I mean? But let's see what she does. <laughs> this, is what I, this is what my mom gets for trusting me with this. Mom. <laughs> Why? Why did we trust her with this? Mom, what's going on? What's going on, mom? I semi-fixed this, she will never know. Also, hairline is gone. Now I have to tie the back piece. Now it's time to cut off the second piece. 
Oh, I am so curious what is gonna happen with this cut because, you know, she's not cutting that much off, but she also has really long hair, so it's gonna make a difference. And, you know, her sectioning is pretty good. Things are looking nice. I just don't know. Oh, well, let's not do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. We're cutting in all different directions. We're cutting up, we're cutting down, we're cutting around. Just one slice across the head, babe. Okay, now that we are done, it is time to take off the rubber bands and style it. Ooh, uh... Ooh, this is the result. And I chopped off like four inches, so. Oh my God. <laughs> Another video where the end result was just like, way better than what I was even expecting. And I don't know how that keeps happening, but I really do like when that happens because that was just beautiful. That the waves, the, the way that she styled in this beautiful blowout. I mean, the way that she knows how to style her hair like that and she's like 15 years old or she just looks really young. I'm not really sure. But the way she styled that hair, I don't think I could have done it better. Like she looked gorgeous and the layers brought everything perfectly together. Ah. Beautiful. So I'm going to do the butterfly cut. I've done this before, so I'm not scared. Another one with the hair in the wrong position. You know, it, it's not necessarily wrong. We all have different ways of doing things and that's totally okay and understandable. But the center of the eyebrows is better. It's just better, you know? I think this is good. I'm gonna do this much. Can I just kind of angle it? Oh, she's cutting a lot. Uh-huh. I like those scissors though. They are long and in charge. They are big and they are big. And they are nice and big. Ah! She didn't really show us the cut, but then showed us the hair that she cut at the end and it was about that long. That's a lot of hair. And that's gonna make a big difference. And those ends look good as fuck. Those ends look fire. They look so healthy and beautiful. And oh my God. God. All right, I'm gonna point cut it like this a little bit. Actually, it's not bad. Let's go for the point cut. The classic point cut. Should I make a point cutting video? Do you guys like that? How to like actually point cut hair? <gasps> We're good. All right. She's like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. great. That's that's definitely point cutted. Point cut to awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do the back now. I'm gonna do like the same amount, which is like here. So. A bunch of fearless people today, just, just cutting that shit off, no care in the world, just going for the damn thing. Just take this. So this is how it looks. See the layers. I see the layers. I sure do. That looks. Gorgeous! Again! Another gorgeous look! Oh my god. Is the butterfly cut just curing the world or is it just me? It's curing people's depression. It's curing my depression watching you guys do these. It is just the most gorgeous thing ever and I love it. And every time somebody does it, it makes such a huge difference. Like they look alive, vibrant, full of life confident and it's the best thing to see. I love Brad Mondo. I'm a hairdresser. I watch all his stuff. It's very, very entertaining. But when I saw this, I was like, I gotta do it. I am gonna modify it a little bit though. If you really look at his uh, video, you'll notice it's very thin on the bottom. That's because when you over direct the hair forward like that or straight up, it's going to layer the hair a lot. Yes, but it's also gonna make a V in the back like this. And I really don't want the V. I wanna keep my ends the way that they are and the length that I have. So I'm gonna modify it a little bit. So let's go ahead and just dive in. I can't wait to see your modification. I love a modification of all kinds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger behind my ear, so right here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm gonna go straight up. I'm just gonna go straight up like this and then meet those fingers together and then pull that section forward. A couple people in this video today have done the technique where they don't use a comb and they just use their fingers to section. I love that. Like you don't need this to be perfect at the end of the day. Like the section doesn't need to be flawless. You're still gonna get a great look. So if it's easier for you, which it is I'm sure for most people, just section with your fingers. So I put a rubber band in there and put got all that other hair out of the way. You can see my line is pretty straight. Might not be exactly straight, but who cares, right? It's just hair. This is my line. Let me just look in the mirror. Quick. All right, we have section one done. Now we're going to the back section and this is where her modification is coming in and I can't wait. Now the modification we're gonna do, here's my hairline, right? I'm gonna go out to the top of the ear and go straight. 
that's better. And I'm gonna pick up all this and put it in a high ponytail up here. And yes, I understand this is not a straight, straight line. It looks more, a little bit more uh, in a V right here. That's fine. But I'm gonna ask a Zoomy to cut off the end right here. Just a straight line to make it a little bit more fuller. This is an awesome idea. She obviously knows what she's doing and I love this idea of leaving some hair down if you don't want your ends to be thinner than they are right now. If you want to still keep that thickness on the ends but still get a little more layering in the haircut, this is a great option for you. Let's see how it turns out for her though. They did a pretty good job or he did a pretty good job because look how much fuller. Can you see it hopefully? How much fuller it looks. Really good. So let's keep in mind the little details that he forgot to tell us is that this back piece right here, he over directed forward. He didn't cut like this. He didn't cut back this way. He over directed it forward. You are so right. I think I said that in my YouTube video, but not on the TikTok video that I made, but you definitely should over direct it right from where it's coming out of the head. So like a little bit forward. And look, actually he cut it like straight across. You can actually cut it like this with your fingers tilted forward like this. This would actually give it a little bit prettier of a, um, the way the layers lay down. So we're gonna take off a lot. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, okay. I was born ready for this moment. Make sure it's recording. You can't not redo this. <laughs> Here we go. That is a whole lot of thick hair. And she is about to chop it off and give it to us. I wanna know, is this gonna be the look she wants? I don't know, she seems like she really knows what she's going for. We're getting it done. I just don't know if that's enough hair to make a big difference. You know what guys, my hair is so thick, that's gonna come out choppy. If you have scissors, scissors will work fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some clippers. Okay. Yes. I love when people use clippers for butterfly cuts. It's just such an easy way to cut off a lot of hair at once. I show people the way to use scissors in my video because most people have scissors at their home, but not everybody has clippers. But it is a really great way of cutting through a lot of hair at once very quickly. Do you hear that? The clippers don't even want to cut through it because it's so much hair. So we're just gonna go slow. And look at that. When you use the clippers, you get such a straight line. Before I drop it, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna cut straight up. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna soften these layers by going in and cutting into them like this. My hair is gonna be short. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be short. You are gonna have a lot more layering, but I don't think it's gonna be too short, but I'm a little nervous for you. Okay, next section. I'm gonna do the same thing. Instead of cutting straight across, guys, I'm gonna angle my fingers like this forward. Ooh, I cannot wait to see that little straggly piece fall to the floor, because that does not need to be there, and I don't know what it's doing for her haircut. So we're gonna get rid of that and clean up this cut. Hopefully it looks a lot better. Oh, I loved seeing that hair drop to the floor. It was like just this big clump just fall. Da, 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 da. Fall to the floor. Bye-bye. Forever. And we're point cutting, but we're not getting anywhere with the point cutting, per usual. <laughs> the damn point cutting, I, it's the death of me. The moment of truth. Ready? And then I'm gonna style it. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. But it is shorter. But look how full, right? Okay, ready to see the back? <laughs> Here we go, the back. How does it look? What do you think? Oh, that is layered. Oh my God. See that, that is layered. That is layered back there because she did the original butterfly cut, which is layered as on the back and I love it. I'm gonna have to rewind this footage to see it. But let's pull it forward. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna style it. Oh, I can't wait to see this blow dry. We need to see it, please. So, <laughs> this is so Beautiful. I honestly am loving this. Loving, loving. And I know it's a little bit more heavy up top, but I don't care because if I part it down the center, it's even on both sides. So I have the flexibility of wearing it like this, this hairstyle, or I have the flexibility of wearing it where my part is. And then when you push it back, look, it's heavy, right? But look at, you push it back and it's like, like it just feathered. 
and gorgeous. Oh my God. That transformation was another incredible one. She doesn't even look like the same person. She's glowing. The confidence that washed over her. This is why I do the job I do, because doing your own hair at home and feeling empowered enough to do it and confident enough to do it and then succeeding. The confidence that washes over you and the confidence that I see through the screen wash over people is so cool. Like she looks fabulous and wow, her hair looks incredible. They it looks professionally done. I mean, it looks really great. Her layers look incredible. She looks so vibrant and glowing. Incredible transformation. I loved that. That made my whole life. Butterfly cuts, they're so scary when they're being done, but usually they come out great. And it's just amazing to see the difference that just these 10, 15 minute haircuts make. It's just insane. I love just people experimenting at home on their own hair, trying something new and seeing them succeed. It's just a wonderful, powerful thing. And you guys did an amazing job. I'm baffled. And of course, if you guys wanna check out my hair color line, I would love that. You can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. And that is all for today. Today. Love you guys so much. Thank you for making these videos and I'll see you next time. Bye beautiful.